I'm not sure because Rob has changed a lot since Dom has been active. Mm -hmm. Dom is like a good player that has been active for a long time. So he might get caught off guard by a lot of things Abex is doing. Yeah. Abex also did really well last time he was here. Yeah, he got like second, right? Yeah, I think so. So I think Ibex is going to win, but I think Dom can definitely. I mean, we'll see. I think Ibex is like much more prepared for this matchup. It's interesting because we don't have Box Guy 6 this week, but we do have Dom here to uh, fill the void. It's like, we, we'll, sometimes we'll see Tom Wardo as well. We had, I saw like a Fox Ditto recently, but here we are going to it. Fox is kind of an overwhelming character to deal with, but we've seen this matchup at top level a decent amount between like uh, Light and Zomba, where I think Light usually gets oh, yeah. the better of Zomba, but yeah. sometimes Zomba will pull through. Yeah, Zomba definitely has one before. Ooh. Ooh! That was really nice. <laughs> yeah, speaking of winning, he just won that stock over pretty <laughs> fast. He just caught him rolling in. And uh, this is pretty interesting, like stage for the most part. Like, when you go up against these characters, do you are you fine with starting PS2 against both these characters? Um, yeah. Normally, I would ban PS2 against Rob, but it's not the first priority. I feel that. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like to have less space against Rob. And Fox is actually I ban PS2 against Fox as well. I think Fox's upper combos are really good on this stage. I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, text chase situations. I've actually definitely getting the better of Dom on the end of the, on a lot of these. Definitely. Which of these characters would you say is easier for Ness to deal with? Um, definitely Fox. Definitely Fox. Except at a <coughs> at the lower level, it might be Rob. Definitely Rob isn't that hard to deal with until you're getting some really really good Robs. Yeah, and that probably has a lot to do with like exploiting the like, the disadvantage of Fox, right? The very linear recoveries versus like uh, Rob, who's got a lot more options when he's recovering. Rob can mix up his timing so much on stage. Yeah. One thing that Fox will benefit from in this matchup, at the very least, is like Rob can't go under PS2, so he's got to actually like go to the specific ledge to go above it. Yeah, that's true. Oh, got the last that's hit. Of that. kill. Yeah, only got the last hit, but that's just enough at 137. Pretty sizable lead here for Ibex. Look, he's trying to get Gyro out, and he's going to go for a Nair's to death. He's going to go for it. He's going to roll on so he can get it. Oh, look at him. He he's doing it. He's doing it. it. Oh, you, yeah, you're, you're calling <laughs> that. And why, he's why doing it again. You know, he's like, you got the advantage. You get the stock lead. Why not? Yeah, why not? Ibex is very good at those Gyro zero to death combos. He does the double tosses. Oh, look, he's dead? Double toss right after I mention it. Absolutely crazy. Oh, my gosh. He misses. No jump on Fox. Oh, well, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, good, good stuff cooking right here. Yeah, this is what he needs. Might put him into Nair up smash percent. Maybe not go. Robbie's kind of big. Not quite. Oh, I love this extra credit that Ibex is getting, though. Yeah, definitely, definitely adding a oh, this is down smash, cool. covering tech in place and tech in. Yeah, is that going to kill? Yeah, that's going to kill. Got some rage on him, too. This is very scary because Dom is at KO percent for a lot of things. Yes. Like down throw into a read or just an edge guard outright. And if this was the other way around, it would be much scarier on both sides. Yeah, actually. But Fox doesn't have the power to kill so early. Oh, going to try to chase him a little bit. But I think if uh, Dom can get like one advantage stage going, he'll put him in a pretty good spot. Oh. Yes, he could definitely. If he gets an upper string, he can be right back in this. Dash hacking there. Can keep him off stage? That's a good start. Back throw. Oh, no. oh, he's just going to down throw up there. Okay, he's going to yeah. get the DI? Okay, yeah, it doesn't matter. Fox is way too late, and I don't think any DI in the world is going to save him there. I guess so. Apex going up 1 0. We'll see if Dom picks PS2 again or if he tries to counterfeit. I think Dom's thinking about the stages here for this counter pick opportunity. Um, hmm. Yeah, we haven't really touched the stages in a long time here. It's like you know, standard five stages, three counter picks. Not a lot of tournaments are using Yoshi's story anymore. What do you think about Yoshi's story? Uh, I don't really mind it, but there's like better stages than this. There's so many good stages. Yeah. I think it's a crime anytime that Hollow Bastion's not used. Yeah. I'm really glad that Surgeon used it. You know, there's a lot of stages that could be used that aren't. Dreamland. Yeah. It would be nice to see Dreamland. Dreamland wouldn't be bad, honestly. Yeah, I think it's a lower ceiling. 
mm. I think. It wasn't Smash 4. So. It would be interesting to try, you know. It's like some mixed up stages here and there. Yeah. Fountain of Dreams. Fountain of Dreams week at Scrims. That would be nice. <laughs> I want to run a tournament where, like, Mario Maker is the only legal stage. <laughs> and, and you can reroll once per set <laughs> if, you, if you don't like the layout. I would play in that. And Dom taking his sweet time. Actually, no, Ibex is taking his time. Yeah, true, true. Dom already picked Fox. He's, he's icing him out. Yeah, he's drinking his orange Gatorade. Oh, look Gatorade. at that. Orange Gatorade on the orange player oh, side and matches. blue controller on the blue side. I wonder if that was intentional. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, we're going to say that it was. We, we planned it here at Scrim Showdown. Yes. Here you get your money's worth. If you're not here, what are you doing? If I plan stream, maybe I should have a cool blue Gatorade and an orange Gatorade and then drink one based on which side I'm on. <laughs> Purchase both of them. Yeah. But only drink the one on the side. Here at Scrims, you have a lot of drinks. Yeah. Buy from. Uh, see, this is the trick that you can do. You just get the lime green like Gatorade, and then we'll chroma key it, and then change it to the color <laughs> uh, that you're on. <laughs> yeah, no, that would Is there a lime green? There's, there's a lime, lemon lime flavor, yeah. The Gatorade is like the yellow, yellow green the, one. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've seen, that's my favorite one. I think I've seen like a dark green color too. Uh, Raven King usually gets a lime green every Yeah, time. he always gets a lime. I feel like it's more yellow though, so I don't know. If it is pretty yellow. But you, 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 can still key, you can still key that out. Oh, okay. And Bear catching the jump. Just like uh, we got Ivex here keying out that box dock. It, he's wearing the green jacket, so the green screen off the screen. <laughs> yeah. It's gone. We, we transitioned yeah, it. We were talking about Gatorade for a whole stock, yeah. and it's gone. <laughs> and that's what Rob will do. Especially counterpicking Rob to Town and City is very bold. Yeah, he's going to kill really early off the sides, which he already did. Fox can't really do the same. and Fox mostly kills off of the top, which is not as good on Town and City. Yeah, right? Like yeah. This is kind of like a Rob counter pick, if anything. Kind of an odd choice from Dom. Oh, Dom oh, Smash is going to yeah. even up the stocks. Oh, tr try and true. That stuff was working in Smash 4. Oh, yeah. No tech. Oh, oh. that barely didn't hit a tech roll. That's crazy. It didn't, yeah, it didn't hit him. It didn't cover that option, so. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a even. lot of damage. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Maybe Dom knows what we don't. Oh! Ibex using this oh. side B to get on stage, covering the gyro toss. Gyro like, dash. Oh, oh my god, a Nair kill. Wait, what? That caught the bad DI. He was definitely holding in there. Oh, he, he, he was feeling himself, too. He's like, got the gyro throw to the dash track, forward air. Tried to keep following it up, but definitely suffered from that. And now he's putting himself off stage. I know, I think he's going to kill him here. No way, that actually killed. Yeah, killed him. That was very laggy That's option, though. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Rob's side, but he can punch just about everything. Oh, see, he has no jump. Oh, okay, but he makes it back to the ledge. Yeah, this is, game is actually very doable, like a lot more doable than game one was, I feel like. Yeah, he kind of got bodied in the first stock, and now, it's, now he has the lead. And up air, up air? How did this happen? It's a fox, I guess. Yeah, I guess Fox can just do that. Oh, right dude. Out of there. We might see a game three. He got this momentum. Oh, that could have killed. We're zooming. I was going to get off the ledge. One will get up. Look at back air. Get up. He's taking his time. He doesn't want to. If he messes up once, that can be the game. Oh! Oh, and the gyro was protecting him there. Watch out. Oh, that's a big laser. Got to be careful here. Up air. That almost Good killed. Good DI. This is a very scary spot for both characters, more so Fox. Just a random up smash will do it. Oh! I was thinking about Rob on smash, not Fox, but. Yeah. Oh! What a good back air. A trap situation. Will he poke the shield? Rob's shield isn't particularly great. Oh, whoa! Oh, that's, oh, that's it. it, that's it, that's it. Wow, that didn't scoop up Fox, and now we get to see a game three between these two. If you were kind of dissing the counter pick, it was, uh, it was working against him. You got like zero to death in the beginning, right? Yeah, but he did, but he brought it all the way back. That's good composure to have, especially against Rob. Yeah, good composure from Dom, but Ibex wasn't patient enough. So true. We got game three. It's interesting because I would expect Ibex to counter pick the town and city, but sometimes you don't want to counter pick to your opponent's counterpick. You start second guessing yourself. So we'll see where he goes. Yeah, that's the kind of situation where you just kind of want to do it, like, unless you know you're going to have to go there eventually. The, the whole S fat strategy, you know? Oh, yeah. Counterpick FD in melee? Yeah, I guess in the 2K. Counterpicking yourself, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, it, yeah, he's going back to town. It definitely is more relevant in best of five sets. Yeah, like, it, it, it's definitely a good Rob stage, so. Yeah, yeah. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how he's going. Oh, yeah, no. stain pot, stain pot. yeah, I remember in the beginning, also, he used to play Inkling. Like Dom, the Dom Inkling. Oh, really? Yeah, I you didn't even know that. You didn't know the Dom Inkling? No. We have the, the color counter pick here, maybe to change like some oh, sort of mentality shift, you know? Yeah, true. This color Rob does blend in with Town and City a little bit more. A little bit. Off. And I, I know Ibex like, takes Smash very seriously. Like he gets some coaching from Goblin himself. Yeah, you know? he does. So like uh, yeah, anything you do that shift your mentality in a positive way is very beneficial. You know. Yeah. Oh, almost got clipped there on the recovery. Ibex definitely goes for a lot of early stock enders, and it makes sense why playing Rob it can be very rewarding. Chasing him a little bit. This, uh, this is going very back and forth, like hit for hit. Yeah, definitely. Oh, risky upbeat, what's going to happen? Yeah, I guess it's like you kind of want to see between the 8 and 9 seed, you know, it's just like who's going to duke it out. Yeah, the seeding must be very accurate. <laughs> thanks to the thanks to the new. Um, smash base. The new smash, smash base, yeah. Yeah, we actually started using Smash base this week here at Scrims, uh, a new program uh, created out from SoCal. From uh, you guys might know AC, the Snake Player, uh, and also a couple other people from San Diego. Uh, really awesome and kind people in the Smash Face. They got a Discord server, so check it out. It's uh, it's revolutionary. As someone who's been seeding tournaments for over six years, that that stuff rocks my world, dude. But someone's getting rocked by that fox back here. And we got even socks again. Yeah. Right, here we go. Dash attack in there. You know dash attack is kind of just like an air? Like yeah, air. I actually saw somebody tweet about that. <laughs> they were looking at Fox. So true. Fox is attack animation. Oh, <laughs> he was cooking oh, a little gonna, too much. Pay for that. <laughs> he had his air dodge. He could have air dodged, but dang, he suffered so hard. He was cooking so much. He was cooking so hard. Let him cook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that might cost him the set. Yeah, and look, Ibex is going for his nair combos oh, yet again. 50% already on Fox. That's so huge. Might set up for an edge guard soon. Oh, got out of that though. Fox up, so kind of broken. It's huge. Mm -hmm. This is a very bad spot for Dom here. Very bad. He's gonna have to turn this around very quickly. Yeah. There, up smash. Almost that won't do it. Enough. The town at City is still like very good for Rob here. Dom, very patient ledge trapping. Some viewers at home might not be super familiar with Dom either. He used to be ranked in our Smash 4 in, in our Illinois Smash 4 region. Oh, back to Smash 4, but uh, here in Ultimate, Rob is a lot better. Yeah. And Fox is a little bit worse. So Smash it, catching the jump. Yeah, Ibex moving up 2 1. He'll be going up against the one seed of the tournament a little bit later on. It's you. That's me. Yeah. But yeah, Scrim Showdown 73. For those of you tuning in, this is Rickles and Atata here. Uh, just. Talking to you about some Smash Bros. matches. Up next, we're going to have Farron versus Minecraft Mona 4. Minecraft Mona 4 is definitely Aster, the Greninja oh, the player Greninja that comes here. Yeah. yeah. But their tag used to be Mona, didn't it? Back yeah. when they played like Sonic in Smash 4, I think. I didn't know them in Smash 4. but They used to come to Poplar a lot with their, I, I think, brother, Ragnall. Oh, really? Ragnall was like the oh, Cloud in Smash 4. Yeah, yeah. I played Sephiroth and Snake in uh, uh, Ultimate. I think there, there's a different Ragnall that plays like, because oh, I think that's okay. the name of like Sword too. Yeah, yeah. Ragnall's kind of like.